they always yell about something. Yeah. You know, it moves the market and somebody's betting on the other side of it. The stock market, there's all this noise about China and all that. Have you do you pay attention to financial a little bit? No like the yeah. news is weird. Okay. Would you agree? Yeah, well I, mean, well, I mean it's all targeted, you know, so towards the bias, you know, which side you're gonna go on. But which which what, what are you talking about on China? We're talking about the BRICS setup, or are we talking about the uh uh you know, uh, changing the dollar, switch dropping no, the dollar? None, none of that. None okay. of that. China's China's uh debt bubble is apparently about to pop. Yeah. And Bank of America came out and said something, made a big announcement. Mm -hmm. And then all the financial YouTubers, which are like us, we're, I guess we're adding to it right now. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But we're not financial YouTubers. This ain't financial advice. But, Selling the drama. Well, they, they, they all jumped on. And then the big short guy, Michael Berry, mm -hmm. placed a $1.6 billion short out of his pop $5 billion that he's got. He shorted the S&P 500, $1.6 billion. And everybody's kind of doing that now. It's funny because you can get both sides of that coin, you know what I mean? But it's something to do with China, something to do with their debt, something to do with some big catastrophe that's going to happen, and all the news is yelling about it, right? But I'm just like you. They always yell about something. Yeah. You know, it moves the market, and somebody's betting on the other side of it. That's it. Yeah. That That's all it is. You know what I mean? They got the machine, and the machine is machining. But for the average boomer, you know any boomers? couple. The average boomer that's sitting with all their cash in the stock market, so they might have a million, million five in the stock market. They've rode this incredible wave up in the stock market. They're sitting probably tip top in the stock market right now, mm -hmm. you know. But if they had to retire tomorrow, the only thing they could do is spend that million and a half. They're not, I mean, what dividend stocks would you feel safe in living off of? That that late in the game, you're picking five, six percent returns, maybe at most. Yeah, you so just I mean, want to make sure you don't lose any yeah, thing so, at that point. So I don't know. Do any bonds pay monthly? Your bills come monthly. Do any bonds? You, pay you can get certain types of bonds. Yeah. So so some corporate bonds. So you're going into these instruments to try to make that million and a half get you to eighty years old. Mm -hmm. Ain't got no tax benefits. Some of them do, I guess. Yeah. So, but anyways, whatever it is, they're going to try to go into that vehicle and cash flow that million and a half. But if they leave it in the stock market much longer, they might get caught in another cycle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So my message to them would be, if you're thinking about that, swap to cash right now. Just get it all cash and uh, consider some cash flow in real estate. If you enjoyed this video, please, for the love of God, let us know in the comment section. Also, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you know every time a new one drops.